Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is HUD? The client set HUD node. First thing, a note of warning. Do not execute this node without any class set in here. It will crash the engine as of 4.14, so just note. And I'm not going to do it because it's going to crash it and it's annoying. So the client set HUD node is really simple. It basically asks the player controller to change their HUD. That's it. It's really simple and useful if you need to change it out or you have like a dynamic HUD system. So let me show you how this works now. We'll hit play and this is our basic HUD that we have here. We have nothing set up. If I was to go ahead and click on this and let's set up a player controller and we'll go ahead and grab a HUD. So we'll grab something like this HUD. We'll hit play. We're now using a different HUD. We could go in here and do this one. We're using this HUD. We could go in here and grab our HUD HUD and do this one. And it's going to give us back a different HUD each time we do that. And we can verify that by looking in here. This is our current HUD we're using, HUD HUD. If we go back in here, we'll stop this. We'll change to something like the debug camera HUD. We'll hit play. You notice we now have the debug camera HUD. That's it, it's really simple. It's a simple basic node that allows us to swap in and out the HUD whenever we want and whenever we need it. It uses the player controller as the input. So you can use something like the get owning player controller node. So you make sure you're changing out the correct HUD. And then it needs a HUD class as the target. Again, if you have this set by default with nothing, none here, for example, and you execute this, it will crash your client as of 4.14. So keep that in mind. And that's it. That is what our client set HUD node does.